Hey, how's it going everyone? We're playing some more Sly. We're finally on the Canada level, which I mentioned last episode was like one of my favorites as a kid. For some reason, something about the trains. I just, I love the trains, the bears, the little bear traps. Something about it just appeals to my little brain, but last episode we got, see, that's a sick bear. Last episode we got all the bottles, we got the three pieces of art. For this episode, we're finally going to start with the missions. Sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall, that'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. All right. Can the bear go on water? Apparently not. Real question, is he going to follow me all the way around? Whoopsies. Where am I even supposed to go? All right. This is not good. Let me away. <laughs> Let me away. I don't want to do this anymore. This is no more fun. Yo, can you fight each other or something? Why do you gotta fight me right now? I forgot about the moles. This level is oddly spaced with a lot of chaos. Alright, I almost jumped on top of the train somehow. Alright, and I still don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Is it this thing? It is this thing. Okay. I'm not dumb. Leave me alone, mole thing. I don't want to talk to you. You're mean. You look like Rossetti and he made me cry as a kid. Not really, but... Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Um... Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, Chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better How while do I my legs turn my camera. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. How do I get up? I want to get out of his sight. Bullseye. For a second, when are you going to give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. This song you covered is troglodyte. You already hmm. got the lion's share of parts. <gasps> Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those mm. robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course. Sly, did you hear that? Besides hidden the iron horse blueprints in his trophy bats. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plants. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me. Oh. The Excellent! Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. Alright. will do fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes! The blimps in his wavelengths. I don't even know how he didn't, like, spot me. After analyzing Bizarre's decorating techniques, I think we'll find the other trophy bass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. Alright. Other cabins. Here we go. You know what? I'm just gonna get it real high. These death traps. Heart, maybe? Nope. Okay. We don't have a lot of life with us right now, so we gotta be... We definitely gotta be a little... Yep, just like I thought. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. Question. Can we do this? I've heard tell from the boys at Ponderosa Cabin. 
someone been in my head blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no summer camp. I don't pay you boys to volley gang while there's a beef in these parts. Okay. So he was talking to Arpeggio. And we know that he now has the brain. And Mr. Bison here has Oh, these guys are rich, rich. They got rubies and sapphires? Oh, they actually saw me? No, dude. Yeah, these guys are loaded. They all got rubies and sapphires? They got they got some good stuff on them, so. Yeah, this guy has nothing. Bro, you butt cheek. That dude's already cleaned. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, we can go ahead and get out of here. See, here's what I wonder. If I die... Well, and I respawn. Well, those guys have more more money in their pockets. Because that could be busted. Basically, four rubies in one room and just farm them over and over again. But it almost like wouldn't make sense. It seems a little too busted. There's not a... No, that's not a cabin up here. But I will grab onto you. That'll take me to... So we went to that cabin. We went to that cabin. So we're looking for... What cabin, then? Oh, no. We, we, we haven't been over to this cabin. Yeah. Okay. Woo! That dude... Tried. He definitely tried to snipe us. Did he give me any... Oh, no. I was gonna say, did he give me any life... I could definitely use a little bit of mana, considering I do also want to steal the precious the gems off these guys. Above the fireplace. Be careful. <gasps> and there's also the safe, which is very useful. Because we already collected all the bottles. Are you going to turn around? I'm gonna steal your money and then I'm gonna kill it. Again, with that should be silent, right? Yeah. <gasps> I guess I'll have to kill each and every one of them anyway. Well, let's go ahead and grab the last one then. I didn't realize this guy was facing this way. They're gonna throw rocks at me, aren't they? Going to the fire. I guess I'll just send each of them into the fire. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Alright, let's collect this map's thing. One, two, nine. What? Don't we already have the clock? Music box? You've gotten the music box move! Okay. So, what is the difference between the, like, alarm clock and the music box? be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish top of the mountain huh shouldn't take long trains are also right in front of us but um we're not ready to talk about that are we all right oh actually i was gonna say let's find out what the music box does but this guy i want to steal his treasure although maybe the music box is exactly that maybe i could steal his treasure easier if he's distracted by a box i don't know let's figure it out Oh, this puts people to sleep. So, like, I actually would be able to steal his stuff easier because he's asleep. Okay, so we're up here to do this thing. Some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. 
Cool. I love Twains. Alright. Bentley, give me the slideshow. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. Alright, so we'll, we'll be going after each part kind of individually, it seems. Real quick, I don't have... Okay, and I'm actually not going to sell these things. I want to, like, just get an absolute juicy sell, probably at the start of the next map. Okay. We got Sly first, right? Yeah, Spice this guy. We got two, actually. We got a friend in need. Alright, well, I'd rather do... I'm actually a genius. I'd rather do a friend in need. Also, let's go ahead and change this to that, because that move will forever be broken. As a one-hit insta-kill, that's just... It's busted. It's nuts. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Alright. All right, give me the mission. Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray, he went out looking for a snack and got captured by Inspector Fox. Carmelita? She's here? Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up Murray. I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay. That's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. It's actually like that. Like slightly breaks my heart. Actually, like it. I like felt that in Bentley's voice. Like, bro, don't leave me alone again. Okay, so am I supposed to just chill up here until she's done with her deal? Where are you going? Is she gonna, like... Oh, she just, like, blasts people. Okay. See, I love how Sly just got done, like, oh, yeah, Carmelita's, Carmelita's like, not cruel or anything. And then she sees an animal, she just blasts away. Just no remorse. She's probably gonna turn around here, right? Yeah. You see anyone? Um, I think we're safe to come up here, probably. And I love how she's walking right by her safe house, and she just... You're not curious? You don't want to look in that window, Carmelita? Where Bentley's literally in there. I wonder if she'll hear me if I break this barrel. <laughs> Whoops! She can hear if I break that barrel. Alright, that was on me. Oh, I didn't get the coin. No. Alright, Carmelita, the deal thing. Right behind you, boo. Where are you going? Oh. Probably gotta be careful here. I gotta keep. What? Can I pickpocket her? Does she? I don't think she has anything in her pockets. Although, if the game was really like hardcore in this mission, they would put something like stupid valuable in her pocket. But those people who, like, just play dangerously. I think that would have been kind of cool. Zap him. Bop, bop. Dude, what a savage, dude. She 
She just emoted on him. Fortnite. I think she's gonna turn around in a second here. I gotta be careful. Can I get the money? Oh no, the money's already gone. Skirt. Where in the world are you going? Oh, she's coming up here. Wow, it's, I wonder where Murray is. <laughs> jump, jump, please. I wonder where Murray is. Zap. Emote on him. Hey, criminal. You doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. I wonder how she got Murray, though. Murray's kind of a, like a beef chunk, dude. How do you Murray, get him? I've come to break you out. Bad chance. This thing is triple padlocked and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. Alright, where did she go? Oh, she, she didn't walk far. Yeah, duck, I need you to be quiet, broski. Okay, let's do a little flying right behind her. Do you have money on you? Oh, I gotta run. Dude, that was actually slick. I say that and then I jump in the water. Oh! Okay, can we do that? So how far would she chase me? Oh, she's chasing, chasing. Okay. All right, I gotta get out of here. Did you call me a sissy? I'm not a sissy. You're a sissy. Also, what are you going to do about your key, bud? I got your key. My... Oh, that was, like, a little too close. Zoink! Okay. Laters. What was that? Uh, nothing. Dude, also, this thing is busted here. If we slide on this railing, you go fast, fast. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, Cooper's absolutely flying. Where is she? Not really. We'll just go ahead and do a little... little floaty floaty right behind you. Thanks for the key, bud. Appreciate you. I felt that thing. Did you? Did you? Alright, so now do we just like run up to Bentley? Oh, everyone's shooting at me. Yo, can y'all chill? So I totally just like did like a weird grind on the floor there. Bro, leave me alone. Why are you also chasing me? Worm. You're no match for me. Well, I don't know about that. What up, Murray? Thanks. Step me up. I was getting a Charlie horse standing in that box. My pleasure. You know how I love to mess around with Carmelita. Yeah, that's weird. See you back at the safe house. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay, well that was one mission. Let's um, is there a train coming? Where's the other mission at? Okay, train. Do you mind taking me over to the spice in the sky? That would be kind of cool. Where's it again? Oh, it's up there. Oh, do we gotta get up like to that really high place? No. Okay. Well then, what we can do is. Do a little jump from here. Oop, I almost just like failed that hard. Let me just fly 
No, no, no. Oh, that's kind of sad. All right, we'll go. We'll go the right way this time. Off of a slightly higher balcony. Okay, Sly. We need to break into the Iron Horse trades, but the only way in through the caboose is locked. To blow the locks off. You'll need to collect the ultra unstable denatured spice gas from those balloons floating above town. How am I supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas? Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on its strut and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you pop the balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected the spice gas, sound really sick. you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the caboose or get blown to bits? That's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. Sick. Honestly, any map that takes me high, I'm s I'm down. I'm there. That's part of the reason why um, the Contessa second map is pretty cool because there's a lot of like high locations. Oh. Okay. Oh, to this, dude. I'm insane. Dude, in what world? That was there, dude. That was there. No way. All right, you guys, that that doesn't count. Like it didn't work, but you guys know, you guys know that that worked. Also, I need to turn around a little quicker. There we go. Is that enough? One more. Okay, we'll catch that train right below us. That did it. You got a full tank of gas. Time to land on a caboose. Alrighty, here we go. Well, maybe we'll take this one nice and slow. No, actually we won't. We'll take, uh, we'll take it like half slow, half fast. That should do it. Wonk. Oh, okie dokie, where's that heist plane? It's over in that corner, right? Yeah. Alright, we, we could probably just glide there pretty quickly. Yeah, it should be right below us here. All right, Ben or Murray, I'm coming. Yeah, this mission is definitely one of the cooler ones. Any mission that I can fly is a good mission in my book. Yeah, I think it's definitely like one of the things that was definitely missing out of like Dimitri's map was there was absolutely no height. Dimitri's map was just flat. But maps like this and the Contessas, where they, you get a little bit of height, I'm ashamed of what just happened. I like those maps. Right, let's try to hit this one. Why did I just hear a bottle noise? There should not be bottles up here. Maybe we can... Ooh, maybe we can hit this train right here. And this is all I need, right? Gas tank is yep. Full. Find a caboose and try for a land. I will definitely try for a landing. This one nice and easy. I think I can hit this one. There we go. And it's even right next to the plane here. So quick turnaround on it. Meet Murray at the ice plane. You guys are yep. doing great. I am There's literally there. That was a nice little spire point right there. Alright. This one's going to be a little harder because I think... There's only one more train to actually target, so we're going to have to be a little bit more careful about how, like, at what location on the map we're at. Where? Oh, and there's Carmelita just still chilling at some... Okay, so there's that train, so it's, that's in a decent spot for us. We really shouldn't have any issues. Um, okay, I almost didn't have enough, though. Is this it? No, one more. Can we hit it? Alright. 
There we go. Target the last caboose. We could probably fall for a little while. <gasps> wait. Oh, we're gonna have to wait until it comes out. Oh, but we're fine. We're fine. All right. Should be good. Boink. Yes, you guys did it. All the iron horse trains are unlocked. Very cool. Sixty-three percent. Feels like we've done much more than just 63%. But I guess it's also just weird because this um, game is longer than the first one. The first one took me just a couple days. This one's taking me quite a bit longer. But I guess that's natural for a sequel, right? Alright, what missions do we got now? We got a Bentley Ride of the Iron Horse. Okay, do I... What was that new move? Oh, yes, the thruster packs. Okay, so... I don't need L2. Let's go ahead and put... Let's go do the fast at L1. This at L2. We got the size destabilizer, health extractor, snooze bomb, and then trigger bomb is this. So we got that on this one. We got the fast run, and then we've got the bomb. I think that's a good little kit for Bentley here. Oh, of course, we also got a sleep bombs. Uh, 99 Budski. I'm out of here. I can't put that to sleep. Let's do our little dash here. Alright. Oh, I'm supposed to get all the way up there. What? How in the world am I supposed to get up there? Is there a little bouncy bouncy thing I can... Yes, there is. Okay. Um... Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and do this level then. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. Okay, is it this one? Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be that bad, Bentley. Come on, you're just jumping on a live train. Okay, it's got to be careful with my jump here. If I jump wrong, I'm kind of done for. Alright. We're in trouble. Can I get money? Okay. Alright, Bentley's doing the thieving now. Alright, I think I'm good to go right here. Um, right here is probably good. Alright, so this is just a simple jumping one. Lit. We going up. Is there enemies? No enemies up. Alright, um, let's go ahead and jump here. These guys gotta be put to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you. Bomb. Put another bomb here. <gasps> let's put you to sleep. Did that bomb get you? No. <gasps> give me the money, give me the money! This money goes away way too quickly. I want to collect it. They keep taking. Um, you don't wonder. This could be a little fun. Wait, no, that's miss. No, you moved. Don't do that. All right, fine. Guys, okay, so I'll go to sleep. I wanted to, like, explode them off of the train, but that's fine. You guys can just go to sleep. That works, too. Ooh. I don't got a snooze bomb. Let's do the snooze bomb, huh? Oopsies. I thought that one was the one that I throw. There's a lot of money in here, isn't there? This might be a good place. While they keep searching for me, let's definitely smack these collect a little coin. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's rethink our strategy here. Elf. Hmm. I've never really played with that either. Is this... Okay, no, that is not a bomb. Okay, okay. I guess we'll just play with the normal bombs then. That's fine. 
little less fun. I think we're going to get some cooler gadgets later. Boink. <gasps> oh, no, you butt cheek. You're small now. Oh, let's so just get that out of our way. All right, I tried to have fun with it. I couldn't make any magic happen there, but... Close enough, close enough. Oh. Wait a minute. I got the... No, no. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, I can do this, can I? I'm sick, actually. Okay, see, now this is where this bomb could be fun. If we place the bomb... Hold on. If we place the bomb right between them, we could maybe throw both of them off of the train. What? They didn't fall off? Alright, well, we'll try it again. Let's throw another bomb right in the middle. Oh, what? Let's try it maybe over here. No, that's still not close enough, actually. Alright, I'm gonna run out of mana, my guy. Oh, that one's close enough. Zoink. Actually, you know what I could do? Can I just, like, ledge drop it? I don't think that's close enough. <gasps> that was close enough. Alright, cool. Alright, well, we did that in a little fun way. That's all I wanted. We got a lung. I wonder if the, the bison vapes. Is it is damaged lung? Strange robot organ for us. One less iron horse train for John yes, sir. <laughs> boink, boink. Nice. We already got one lung. We're crazy. Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Basson's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby hand car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number 3. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. And we're going to do all of that coming in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.